In today's video, we will show how users consume a custom OCI language model and perform a deep analysis in OAC. As discussed in our earlier video on how to register a custom model, our language model has already been trained in OCI and registered. We will now show the process on how to execute the model. From the home screen, let's create a data flow. We'll click on Create, Data Flow, and select our input data set. With our input data set loaded, we can see all of the columns that make up our input data set. This is the data that will be run through our custom OCI language model. Next, we'll apply the model. We'll click on the plus and click Apply Model. We'll select the model we registered earlier and click OK. With the model loaded, we can see all of the output columns as a result of our custom model. We have offset and length, which indicate the positioning of the text within our output data, the entity text, the type of entity that's being identified. This is specified in the custom model, a subtype if one exists, and a score. The next step is to select the input data column. So the input data column is the column that contains all of the text that we wish to run through the model. In our case, it's in the offer column. The next is the reference column one. So reference column one refers to a unique identifier within your data set. In our case, it's the text ID. This text ID or unique identifier will allow us to perform further deeper analysis by adding the original data set to our output data set once completed. Once these parameters are filled out, we'll click on the plus sign and we'll save our data set. Let's provide a name for our output data set. And before we execute the model, we'll change a few attributes. Our text ID will change to attribute. And for the offset length, and score will change these measures to app. Let's now click on the run data flow icon. We'll be prompted to save the data flow and we'll provide a name and we'll click OK. Data flow execution time will vary depending on the data input size and the number of OCPUs dedicated to your OCI language server. Once the data flow is completed, we can begin our modeling in OAC. With the data flow completed, we'll return to the OAC homepage and click Create Workbook. Let's select our output data file and click Add to Workbook. Here we can see all the output data columns created as a result of our data flow and custom model. Offset and length provide the positioning of the text within its original entry. Entity text and type values are the text and its classification found based on your custom model parameters and the score is an average confidence value of the entities found. For the purpose of our demo, we're going to add our original data set to the canvas for further analysis. And as discussed earlier, if we click on the data tab after adding the data, we can see that it's automatically joined by our text ID or unique identifier. Let's start making some visualizations. In our example, we're going to use the pivot table visualization. And let's take the original offer, the type of entity, and the entity text. In addition, we'll take the score to put in the values. And now if we focus in on a single entry, a single offer, we'll right click and say keep selected. Now we can see all of the data pulled via our AI language custom model. We can see the company the address, the position, the salary, its score, as well as the entity text. If we wanted to enhance this view, we could take both the offset and the length values, and we can see the positioning of these attributes as they appeared in the original offer letter. This was a brief demo on the AI language custom model in OAC. Thanks for watching.